So I'm, I'm interested in knowing busy. why is it that you think that Americans should be able to like join a fascist military force as like a normal job, like that, like that's something that they ch just choose to do. Like they they sort of weigh the pros and cons between that and like flipping burgers at McDonald's or like stacking shelves at Walmart, and they just decide I'm gonna go kill Iraqi kids, like like because the benefits are better or something like that. Like why is it that you seem to think that should be a, like normal and allowed, and they should bear no responsibility for that? I mean, what do you what do you mean by allowed though? Like like legally, like is the U.S. supposed to pass a law that stops citizens from do you think the American the military? military should exist? Uh, as it is, no. But I don't. I don't understand how as that relates. As it is, relate. as it is, yeah, like, like wh what? <laughs> well, I mean, like, what do you what do you mean? How else? Well, like, obviously, obviously not out. Like, well, the, the question is, every e even if a, even if like, the UF we, military exists on like an individual level, there's still actions that you can take against these sort of people. You don't. You don't need to like accept them into your circles if they're like. Um, you know, perfect special little boys who are actually really special and they put veteran in their bio on every social media to remind you of how special they are. So like, that's that's what my question is, though, is like, I don't understand you how you... You haven't answered my question, you... though. I, I like, don't is, think is it, is it normal that exists. Is it normal and cool that it's like just a regular job choice for an American and like we, we can't blame them for making I, that choice? Why, why is it wrong for us to blame them for it? No, no, like, I mean, I think... No, it's pretty messed up. I don't, I don't think it's wrong for... Um, you know, criticizing them for like, I mean, I guess like, like for them to examine that, but I just, I think that's something that you can move on from, like, which is what you don't see. Have to they think moved on from it? Most. But I, I, from all the evidence have that we they have, moved on it from seems it? like they have. Yeah. Well, let's bring up the guy who we were talking about, who you specifically took exception to a guy who was a U.S. Marine who's, you know, his obituary, it brags about him having been a U.S. Marine. It also later brings up him again being a U.S. Marine and brags about him being promoted to sergeant in just two years. So it's like trying to brag about him getting, I believe that's free promotions in two years in like the fascist American military. And then he went to Ukraine and he joined the fascist right sector militia. So I'm, I'm just kind of weirded out by why am I like expected to accept that person when clearly... You know, I, I don't think it's an obituary, right? But I don't really think, yeah, yeah. I don't think that it would be in his obituary if people who knew him didn't know that he would have been okay with that being there if he didn't identify as such himself. So why, why I, is it wrong for me to think that someone like think... that is not a lifelong leftist activist? Because clearly being in the US fucking military is, is very much not exactly conducive to being a lifelong activist. Uh, I mean, I'd, I, well, for, let's not, I don't want to talk about um, Ukraine. Let's focus on the uh, military guy. Um, but like, I guess the way I see it is like, I, I don't, reading that to me, especially like in his obituary, I, I don't see that as them bragging about Why would it him be being there, in the though? military. If, 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 but, if, like, should they hide it? Should they pretend he wasn't? Like, that's why would worse, you put it right? there? Like, it's why like, would you not, if, if you, you were a like, if you were a Holocaust perpetrator, would you want them to put that in your obituary if you were repented afterwards? If you if you were deeply regretful for it, would you want them to put oh oh and also he was a, a member of the Waffen SS and he got the concentration camp and he got promoted three times in two years? That's not something that that would be there unless it was were like, like something that he was proud of. If you were like 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 what should like. Like Eric Schindler, should he have like pretended he wasn't in the like a no Nazi party member? Like, do you think like, that he would like, like an obituary is supposed to be like a celebration of the positive things about a person, especially one like this that's written by an organization that he was supposedly a part of? His yeah, friends yeah. wrote this. It's not like they're putting this there because they think it's bad or because he would have thought it bad. You know, if if he thought it was bad to be a U.S. Marine, it wouldn't be here. Or uh, it's either that or his friends fucking hate him. And they wanted to brand him with something that he didn't agree with, which I doubt is the case. And but this is just, not just about uh, this just one guy. This is about veterans in general. I, I How can yeah, you be yeah, a no. repentant veteran when you come back from like doing something that is horrible, and then you just brand yourself with that, like it's a label that other people should like know about or something? Like even a weird. It's the sort of thing that you should about, be ashamed of. Why? Why you should have a weird idea about using the word veteran? Like it means like yeah, you're identifying yourself as a veteran. But as it a just veteran describes, is like a positive thing. It just, it's not it's just a description, though. 
it's not just a description because this has okay, incredibly okay. positive for one it has incredibly positive connotations in american society and for two would you think like someone who murdered someone is deeply regretful for that would put murderer in their like fucking social media bio or something obviously they wouldn't so the fact that it's there the fact that they identify with it the fact that they bring attention to it constantly there's clearly a reason for that isn't there and it's not because that it's just like a neutral descriptor. Because what you choose to like identify yourself with is not just a neutral descriptor. That's a conscious like decision if, that if, you make. If they didn't put better, if they put a person who was in the military, they don't have to put anything. Not, they don't, they don't have to. Fine. They don't I, have I don't to think, identify themselves like this. I, I that think they it's choose worse to is to indicative. Cover it up. That they choose to think? is very indicative. No, because they're putting it there because they know that it brings them social benefits. We're talking about America here. You know fully well that being a veteran yeah, brings I mean, you massive well, social benefits. E even in supposedly leftist circles in the US, like when you're a veteran, people love to like give you credence. They love to play you up as, as someone special, as something special to offer that everyone needs to like acknowledge and, and like fucking hug you for. So these people are clearly when they do this, they're trying to get some sort of like social cred for it. They're trying he's dead. to. Yeah, he's dead. So when he was alive, do you think he wasn't doing the same? Describing himself as a as a veteran. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? No, why I... wouldn't he or anyone else or these people in general? They always do it. Why are they describing themselves as veterans if it's not something that they're that they're like at least utilizing for social cred? Like ex for ex cons will still like ex murderers after they get out of prison will still. I've never you seen know, someone identify tell themselves their story, as a story about like I there was a, literally this this whole like Netflix documentary about like school and prison about how they like the prisoners that were in school like Do people these people that were like in prison, brag about school, being murderers and they... then they got released and got a job and they're very open about how you know, Yeah, but that's for a ne that's for a Netflix and documentary, right? It's a di it's a different thing say to like, like find an American soldier and like ask them, you know, to like tell you what happened there. And them to, like, put in their fucking Twitter bio, like, U.S. Marine, two years, free promotion. Do you actually, was that in his Twitter bio? Because I don't fucking know. We're not talking about I've this seen, one person. I looked up. What I'm saying here is not just this one person, right? This is, well, yeah, but this if you're talking uh, about veterans in general, like, if they don't if you have see, it in your Twitter bio, If you see a fine? veteran, like, if you I see a, vet, a supposedly leftist veteran who was a veteran and is a leftist, you shouldn't be able to tell that without them, like, telling you it. You shouldn't be able to uh, tell immediately because they all they all use it as like a cudgel, as like a status symbol because they want to be like get credit for it. They want to like paint themselves as victims who now have something special to offer to everyone else. And you yourself said that you tried to say that we need American veterans because yeah, because I, they're going to be like uh, no, they're I, going I to be like Cuban revolutionaries. They're going to lead the revolution for us, so we need them, and we need to respect them, and we need to like forgive them for I don't, the horrible crimes that they've committed. No, no, I don't. I don't. Uh, for one, there's not, there's no revolution happening in the United States, so well, then I, I don't believe that. That goes out the fucking window. Like, we clearly don't need their military yeah. expertise. I don't. I, no, I think I just think they they should be an accepted part of the left. The, I don't think I mean, veterans I, specifically should be an accepted part of anything. I think a lot of people should be obviously accepted parts of the left. Obviously, if you join the US military and you really regret it and you don't fucking brag about it every two seconds and, and you, you don't have you any don't evidence demand... that it, I'm not talking about people who are who are bragging about it I'm talking about Everyone brags about it. That's what we're talking about here. Everyone, like, all of the, like, I have literally it. never, all, I've seen, like, two US veterans ever, ever, who were veterans and didn't, like, use it as a cudgel, who just, like, brought it up, like, once like by coincidence i like when you have like a supposedly you keep talking veteran, about these abstract people these aren't are abstract people cudgel. these aren't abstract people at all like you 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 like got fucking angry at the fact that i even mentioned the fact these people are like, criminals you're you're going at it you're really posting it up hard very mad at me let's go through some of the some of the stuff that you said sure let's check it out That's pretty ironic coming from someone that tweets about 50 times an hour. Why is that ironic? Do I tweet You're like defending American veterans? Posting? You're criticizing the amount of, of tweeting I'm doing when you tweeted like seven no, times. No, I'm criticizing the period. content of your tweets. Okay, so well, let's, let's go over You invoked those rehabilitative justice. You sure, said, yeah. Do, if you believe in rehabilitative justice, okay, what rehabilitative justice have American veterans faced? Um, has American veterans faced? Yeah. yeah. As like an institution? None. 
Has a single American veteran ever faced rehabilitative justice? Uh, on an individual level, um, like like from like like legally, no. But I, I think that you can. Well, rehabilitative justice still... isn't just illegal, but uh, no. no, so I, no anyway, I agree. No. I think. I so, think what is can... the point of invoking rehabilitative justice when American veterans don't face justice of any sort? And the thing is, they also don't hold themselves to any stand of justice, even the ones who claim to be leftists. Have you ever seen an American veteran who say gone to Iraq and apologized to I, people in the regions that no, they I fought, would say, tried to do I anything to that... help them? I would say that this individual person um, exhibited like the spirit of individual. Uh, sorry, um, by uh, going to, to justice. Okay, so I don't know what this person did. You don't know either. But let's let's well, say. I'm, so I mean, let, so, let, let's on, create. Let's create the archetypical. Let's did. create the archetypical American veteran, <clears throat> someone who you know went to Iraq, did did a tour there, comes home and um, now now says they've seen the light. They are now a leftist. Do you think that it would be reasonable to say that if that person has the money and the resources to go to Ukraine and join a fascist militia right sector, that it would be reasonable for them to go to Iraq, apologize to their victims, you know, try to help communities there, rather than going to fight for a fascist militia, militia, militia in Ukraine? Because that's ah, what restorative justice I'm is. I'm assuming. Um, I disagree with, with uh, you, you actually the, said it's ridiculous. your statement it's, on Ukraine. No, so what right I what I wanted is a fascist to militia. Uh huh. Is it not? Yeah. So okay. uh, when I was talking about this guy specifically, uh, when I was talking about what he had done in terms of uh, rehabilitative justice, the only information I have to go off of is that same post that you uh, quote tweeted, okay. of course. All right. So he helped other people on the Popular Front, which is a leftist organization. No, the Popular Front is not a leftist organization. The Popular Front is not a. Um, the name is misleading. Uh -huh. It's a media organization that reports on war exclusively. It's not it's, a. It's, it's not a leftist okay. organization. It has nothing to do with leftism at all. Like I'll go to their website right now, popularfront.co. Uh -huh. Cooper worked on community housing projects in Popular Cleveland. Front is a Cooper media taught self defense classes to those in the most danger, okay. etc. In the so USA. how how does and is that I don't are, I don't understand what are the, the victims issue, of American? Let's say that all of that is true. Are the victims of American imperialism in the USA? No, but that's an okay. issue of the U.S. government. To, no, no, it's uh, an issue of him of because he individually went and killed people for the U.S. empire, right? So how is it that help, you know, helping out with community organizing or whatever in the USA provides restorative or re rehabilitative justice to his victims? As far as I'm concerned, it does nothing for restore, them. Because restorative justice is about, like, producing the best outcomes for the world, not punishing justice, the victim for the sake justice of, like... Restorative justice is about restituting the victim. It's about, you know, meeting with the victims and trying to restitute the impact of the crime that you did to them. Like the first definition of Google, for example, is restorative justice um, seeks to examine the harmful impact of a crime and then determines what can be done to repair that harm while holding the person who caused it accountable for his or her actions. Accountability for the offender means accepting responsibility and acting to repair the harm done. So when I talk about restorative justice, like American veterans going to like Iraq or Afghanistan, talking sure. to people there, trying to help out whatever, you know, in whatever way they can. That's restorative justice, not helping Americans in America because Americans are the perpetrator population, right? Uh huh. So, so how do you? It doesn't really so what is, make much sense. So unless so if they if they can't physically travel back to Afghanistan. Then they're they're what they're just this guy could like have. you'll this never guy went you would Ukraine. never let them you would never any let them back. Any, you, any you American can easily travel. And any American can any, pretty easily travel. Any American can easily travel to Afghanistan. Iraq, yes. Really? Afghanistan is quite is a bit more difficult, but it's also not impossible. Yeah, people travel to Afghanistan. But if you really wanted to do it, it wouldn't be that hard. Most veterans probably don't have enough money to leave their state. What are bullshit. you talking about? Absolute bullshit. Veterans are on average richer than the average American. The average veteran income. The average veteran family income is seventy-seven thousand dollars per year. And you think they can travel? Yeah, yeah. Back to Afghanistan. I I could go to Afghanistan if I want, and I earn like fucking ten times less than that. Are you kidding me? So what? Um, let's say that let's say that they can. All right. What about the veterans that can't? Because you you have to accept that there are some. What that about? Can't do that, I mean, right? are they trying? Do they are they trying? Do they want to? Let's 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 say that they do. Do they want? Let's to? say that they. Do they, they, do, say they, they do, they, sure. do they say I'm 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 a I'm an epic veteran, 
every two seconds. Let's say, you know, yeah, let's say, let's say like, there's a veteran I, I, that wants I think to you're travel. trying. You're trying to make it out like I think that like having I'm done just, bad no, no, things, I'm, I'm having done where... bad things, means that you can like never overcome having done those bad things. That's not the case at all. What I'm saying is, most of these people who identify as leftist veterans do not actually, you know, they haven't actually done any of that. Nor do they. Nor do they even want to. That's what uh -huh. I'm saying. So if there's someone who's, you know, like a veteran who isn't able to carry out restoration of justice, then of course I'm not going to blame them for that. But I also sincerely doubt there's going to be many of these veterans who, are, who want to do that, right, at all. Because I've, I've never seen, I've never even heard of like a single well, American veteran who's even tried that. to do this. No. Not one. Have you? I haven't. Uh, yeah. The, do you know how many people went and fought with the YPJ or whatever, the, the Rojavan, like, revolutionary forces in Syria? Like, Is Syria in Iraq? And for one, that's not, that's I, not the thing. We were in Syria, too. Why, the, like, YP, why would that not be? Is the, they, the Kurds, the Rojava, you know, those people, the reason why they went and did that is because they are fundamentally aligned with U.S. imperialism. That is a fact. Because they, this is a, an organization... Uh, you know, a polity, a region that is fundamentally receiving support from the U.S. government. That's why they do that. You know, so you, so you don't so, support. No, what you were saying. This is why you see the, the volunteers. Because, for like, one, no. I'm. For the first point was that this is not Iraq. This is not Afghanistan. We're not talking. Well, we were here. in Syria too. So I mean, we would owe restorative justice too. You were in Syria to fight against Assad. So. If, if, you know, the logic here would be you go and join fucking Assad or something, which I don't think you want them to do and I don't want them to do either, but that doesn't really make sense, right? What I'm saying here is going to join, like, to volunteer for, like, a military force that is fundamentally, where, you know, aligned with the U.S. empire, whether they're doing that out of necessity or not. That's not really the same thing as restorative justice against the U.S. empire, it's not even restorative justice at all because you're not actually restituting your victims. But at, at the I same mean, time, I support reparations they're doing for the things, Middle East, but that should they, come from for the, for the, the U.S. government, far. right? You know. So on an individual level, you know, if if you're like a mafia hitman and the mafia pays restitution to the victims, do you not still think that you deserve like some sort of personal responsibility for what you've done? I, I think you should just do the best you can to like. I don't think anyone believes this. Not, I don't you know think anyone I mean? believes this because, for example, the German state has um, has compensated tons of Holocaust victims, tons of them, right? But still, yeah. But still, perpetrators are being prosecuted. So clearly, that the state is restituting people. No one legitimately believes that that removes the individual responsibility from the perpetrators, right? I mean, they didn't individually charge like random soldiers, though, either, did they? Like, no, was... concentration camp guys are still being extradited. Like, basically, like any soldier who can even remotely be implicated in anything even resembling a crime has like immediate. That's absolutely not shit. true. They, the the head general or whatever of fucking like he became part of NATO. Like, you know that is yeah, true. that is true. But what I'm talking about is right now, like the lower level soldiers, concentration gang guys and shit, they're still getting extradited constantly. Like if I Google search for right example right now, like concentration camp guard extradition, there's like 90 fucking nine year old, year old guys being deported to Germany to face trial there, relatively low level soldiers. For example, I have a story right now, CNN, the US de deported a 95 year old former Nazi concentration camp guard. Yeah, but like the resident. equivalent... But the equivalent of that for the U.S. would be like charging people, like like charging like DeSantis or something, right? Who worked at like um, the fucking what, what's our stupid thing in Guam? You know what I'm talking about? Um, or like Black Site? I can't remember what it's called. Like what? You think only the people who like legit, like literally guided Guantanamo well, Bay should? Yeah, be that's what yeah, that Guantanamo Bay. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I don't well, think that, that at all. I mean, that's I think... the equivalent. That... Well, I'm not saying I think I'm that, saying that would be the equivalent, right? I think that obviously like individuals, the... individuals should be certainly be expected to at least do something, and even if they can't do something, you know, they shouldn't be be bringing this shit up constantly for social credit, which they do. And people especially shouldn't be getting like red faced fucking angry when you like mock these people because they factually went and invaded other countries and murdered people there. Like, how is that objectionable to say? 
Americans get fucking incense when you say this shit. Like, they have no problem saying all cops are bastards, but apparently soldiers who go and police people on the other side of the world on behalf of the US Empire, they're not bastards, they're little small beans. Like, doesn't that seem ridiculous to you? I don't think I don't think any I've ever heard anyone on the left re refer to military soldiers as small beans. You think they have to I, literally say it? It's obviously the vibe that they that they come up with. It's like oh, they were poor. It's that they the f impulse is to make excuses. The impulse is to make. I've never seen anyone do that for American cops. At least anyone not you, remotely you, on the left. I'm interested. Do you, do you think the situation between like the social situation between soldiers and cops is like morally comparable or or no? It's worse. Cop, soldiers are worse. Soldiers it's are worse. significantly soldiers are worse, worse because cops? they U.S. soldiers are sent to the other side of the world to invade other countries, destroy their infrastructure, destroy housing, you know, destroy people's lives on behalf of of like a bourgeoisie that is not even remote. They can't even hold hold, account, hold accountable to themselves like they can slightly with their own. It's even worse. Obviously, yes. How not? What, what, what is a military, if not a police force, but for other countries? It seems like you're, you're putting all of the, the abstract blame of like an institution This is not abstract blame. This is very real blame. And it is that, very that, real that there blame. is also it's systemic your... blame does not, does not mean that individuals don't have blame. I don't understand where you guys get this idea that like there's no ethical consumption under capitalism means that anything is permissible. How does that work? I didn't say anything was permissible. I just don't think okay. that, like... So, the... clearly, you're responsible for your actions if you join the fucking US military and go and kill people in Iraq or whatever, right? I, th I do think if you kill people, then that's, like... At, well, at, you support at that killing point, people. Yeah. Well, just what? like I'd be responsible for my actions if I decided to drive the getaway car for a, a murder robbery. Obviously, I would. I be. mean, at that, you're just supporting the the U.S. military by paying taxes at that point, right? Like, at, no. at what point? That's not you... the same thing as no? being directly oh, okay. involved in the crime yourself. You're forced oh, to pay taxes. You're coerced into paying taxes. You're not coerced into voluntarily joining a, a wholly volunteer U.S. military that you know fully well what a fucking military is for, and then helping them kill people or killing people yourself. That's not the same thing as paying taxes. Obviously, no one thinks that. Otherwise, pay, by paying taxes, you're literally the same as a cop. You don't believe that. So why, why say it? That's, that seemed to be what you were implying to me. How? I didn't say anything about taxes. I said joining the you military. Said if you, you, said if you, support them, even, you said if you support them, even if you don't actually do anything in your own actions to harm anyone. That that's, you uh, do, by joining the military, you are consciously taking actions that harm people. Because the entire point of the military is to invade other countries on behalf of the U.S. empire. And and you don't and you think even if you join the military and you're you do you know fucking let's say whatever you know let's say you, you never even get deployed right and then you you get out. What's the point? Why, why did you, you join? Try to join like, so let, let's you say you join, join. Let's say you join the U.S. military. You're not deployed. Okay, you probably, let's say you, you do you understand you know, you a huge part a, a huge part of the U.S. military's ability to exert power all over the world is by having a reserve force that is ready to. That just like the, even the threat of a reserve of force I mean, to do yeah, military it's, it's, action it's, anywhere at any time. Yeah, so preserve by doing global that, you're US still, enemy, whatever, you're right? still like, like, and in that case, like, it's not like you're not murdering people because you chose not to. You're not murdering people because you were fortunate enough not to be deployed. So it's not really, you know, there's still obviously responsibility there, even if they didn't end up committing murder or whatever. But you were trying to say that because of that, I think they can never be a leftist. We've already, we've already established that's not the case. No, but well, if they, I so said, if they didn't heart like you said that they like if they don't kill anyone, who are they having to go to be restorative to? That's because they what still I'm help saying. to kill people. They don't have to literally shoot people themselves. So how? So what do they? How do they have to help? Like, could they just send like a hundred dollars to Afghanistan? Like, what is the like? Do you think there needs you know, to be like if, some if, sort of if line they or whatever? Personally, no, no, no. So, l listen, listen. If the U.S. government, it seems like you're trying to hard, hold on. A gotcha if the US, hold on, hold on. If the U.S. government has harmed Afghanistan. The U.S. government should like should, right, help rectify that. If you personally, let's say you personally were there, right, and you fucking, you know, helped invade some town and like you killed some family or something, right? You know, you could go back and help that family. But yeah, if you not? were just simply, yeah, sure, okay, right, we'll, we'll just say that you should do that. I've never heard of a single American who's done that. Hold on, but let's say, okay, fine. Let's say you didn't do that. Who are you supposed to go back to Afghanistan for this whole thing to play out for you? Like, if you're just some, like, you, you okay, you help the military. It's, it seems like what you're trying to do here is to, like, abstract this as much as possible to try and because find it's, some it's, exception it's, it's, so it's you can claim that you're a victim. 
It's not just an institutional thing. A state, an institution, if a military. You can personally these harm are anyone, institutions. Who else is, what are you supposed to do? You, you say it's an well, institutional no, thing, the right? Question, though. Who, what what is say a state? You, what you is a state? Who are you, is, is, who are is you a state an, an, Is a state a god? Or is it nope. an entity formed by human beings to further the interests of certain human beings over others? Who should you go restore if you, di if you didn't harm anyone? I don't know. Why don't you just go and do some work in Afghanistan or Iraq in general? Why don't you just go do something? Could you just like send them money or like would whatever that be the fine? fuck you want? Hey, listen, you're trying to abstract things here to a ridiculous level, a completely ridiculous level. Well, because level. if you didn't personally do anything, the harm is abstracted. We're talking about people who right? did personally is, do isn't. stuff. Do you think a U.S. Marine, a two-year U.S. Marine veteran, didn't personally do anything? How is that even that, possible? But that's entirely possible. Deployment, like. Cycles can be lo as long as five you, years you, between. You. No, American American soldiers are deployed pretty much all over the world. If they're not actually like in the middle of a hot conflict, they're occupying another country through one of their numerous military bases, and they're also involved. Well, I'm not in going to tell a leftist to go be restorative to Germany. I, I'm not going to tell. Germany, I'm not right? going to tell like, a left. I'm not going to tell a leftist to join the military. In fact, I'm going to tell I, someone. I mean, I wouldn't either. I'm going to tell someone who joined the military. That they did a bad thing, and they should be regretful for that. Do you not agree with that? Sure. No, I, no, I think that's fine. So why is it that I'm expected to, like, hold these people up on a pedestal, like they're special, not remind them of I, the I, fact that they're murderers? No, I don't, I don't. Like, why, why, why are you so angry at me for saying that the guy, the guy in question, because you, you got actually, like, you responded to me on Twitter angry specifically at me for call, for like saying it was ridiculous that they were calling that guy a lifelong leftist activist when he was a, a US Marine veteran. Yeah, because I, I do think he's a lifelong leftist activist. How? Based on the entire description was of he his a life, life they gave. Would you say that there is a contradiction between being a lifelong leftist activist and joining the US Marines for two years? I think I think a lot of people were radicalized by their experience in the military. Then I mean, he wouldn't be a lifelong activist. Well, the entire U.S. leftist like movement got kickstarted from veterans coming back from Vietnam. Veterans like, who came back from up. no veterans came back no. That, that for one, that is completely false. Veterans were like the, this mythology oh, of were, the U.S. population. The veterans were supportive this mythology of, Vietnam, of this realize. this mythology of the U.S. population turning against the war for. For anything other than the reason the that they thought it was bad for themselves, they hated the veterans. It was exactly. the veterans who turned against Exactly, the war. they deserved hatred too. They're not for the right reason, not for the reason that they were hated for in the U.S. Like you think, like veterans come back, right? And w w what do most of them say? It's bad because we, you know, it costs us a lot of money. It hurts us. It hurts Americans. There's a fundamental difference between that maybe and saying it's bad because we a, kill people. A, it's bad because we victimize people. It's bad because we destroy think their country. Leftist veterans would say that. I don't leftist, think veteran. veterans Le leftist, leftist veterans either. are some of the most ridiculous, like self-victimizing people in the entire world. Who who are completely unrepentant. I have honestly never seen. I I would like for you to show me, like, if you can provide me an example of like a leftist veteran who doesn't use the fact that they were a veteran to give them some sort of social credit. Who like you know would be told, hey, you signed up to do murder, and be like, yep, instead of like like post like a five-page response of excuses for themselves. I would be interested to see that, because I've never seen that person, ever. Well, if you can't point to a specific person for all these leftist veterans that are supposedly bludgeoning people with their veteranness, I, I mean, I can't really yeah. talk about anyone specifically. Literally, like, you have, like, hundreds of people responding to me who are leftist veterans, who say that they are leftist veterans. Like, you, you yourself are there to defend the leftist veterans. Who are you defending exactly if they're all actually hidden? If they're all actually in hiding and they don't actually exist because they're all actually ashamed of what they did? I, I think the, because I think the left benefits from having not just veterans, why ex-prisoners. Why veterans you know, specifically? What do you mean? Ever, veterans specifically because you were attacking veterans specifically and saying... But why? Setting, why? But no, I like, believe... And you could just say you could just say for them to be accepted on the left. I think it's an unreasonably high actually yes, no, I actually think it's an unreasonably face, high some, face justice is unreasonably high standard. Be held to account in any way, shape, or form. Not identify yourself. Like that seems ridiculous to you, especially a guy who has the money yeah, to go would, and fight for would, a fascist militia in Ukraine. You're telling me you're that guy isn't the, able to go to Iraq? 
you're putting the onus on individuals for like this would implicate almost anyone who's fought in like any war like most wars have been fought between capitalist states no because most wars have not been carried have... out by very unambiguously clearly genocidal imperialist militaries that their only purpose is to uphold the global capitalist financial system that's the that's the position that the u.s is in it's totally different it's not the same thing as say you're a guy in the cuban military and you and you fight in the bay of pigs invasion this is clearly not the same thing you can look at something like the Cuban military, for example. When's the last time the Cuban fucking military went and invaded a country to make some money for its capitalists? It, it doesn't do that. I said most we're wars have been fought between No, most wars states. have not. Most wars might have been fought between capitalist states, but we're not just talking about fighting for a capitalist state. You, you might notice here. I, you might I'm notice here. I'm not saying that like some Ukrainian conscript is, is guilty for fighting against Russia. I'm saying that Amer the American military is fundamentally totally different to the other things that you're drawing an equivalence to. The problem is not just that we're talking about a war between two capitalist states. The problem is that the American military exists solely well, to mean, uphold the, the genocidal hegemony of the U.S. empire. There's no I, other I agree reason. the American military is extra bad. I don't think that puts some sort of like super individualistic idea of what it means like you have to do. You just seem to, to be against any leftist. sort of individual responsibility at all, but in the same way, we can absolve anyone of individual responsibility for anything, because obviously, under capitalism, everyone has a limited spectrum of choice, right? I like, think there. I think if, no, if no, someone's okay. poor, me, can they me, kill you for your let money? Let me clarify. Let okay? me clarify. Let me clarify what I what I mean. I think it's fine to criticize them or criticize their past choices. I don't think that that prevents what I them criticize. From being on the left. What I, I I agree. You seem to be criticizing. I, you seem to be. I agree. It doesn't prevent them from on being the on the left. What I'm saying is, I don't believe that they are that most of them, because I honestly haven't seen a single one, is even remotely actually regretful of what they did. Is even remotely interested in restitution or anything like that, because they don't they don't display any sort of desire of the, for that at all. In fact, they use the label really, and and they const and you you yourself were talking about how how like. You've never you know, seen a single we need, one. We need American veterans because they're going to help with the revolution. You're familiar something. with, like, Pat Tillman, right? Pat Tillman, who got fragged for saying one bad thing about the U.S. military, and? Yeah, so you would say is he, he wouldn't count among you. That's You haven't seen a single one? You wouldn't even count him? Like, I don't, do, well, no, he didn't. He, he For one, he never even had the opportunity to do restitution or anything like that because he was yeah, killed Yeah, because he was fucking there. killed by his own men. And? And what's your point here? What? So you don't think he you don't think he regretted the uh, the actions that like he took going up. He like, said that he regretted the them, but he was he was literally still there at the time. Like he never left. He never you know he never went and joined. The you don't other think side. they might have? He might have done. He might have done that. He might have done that afterwards. But the point is, you're using an example. Like your one example you is someone who never even. One, your so. one example is is someone who never even got the chance to. Even do what I would I'm say he about. did. I would say he he probably died for his beliefs. So I don't, I don't know what more. How did he die for he his would. beliefs? He was actively fighting in Afghanistan. He sent some some like emails to his dad where he said that you know he doesn't like what he's doing, but he's still doing it anyway. I don't understand how that's restitution. It's like it's, it's like a fucking concentration camp guard saying like you know I don't really feel good about this whole killing all the Jews thing, but still carrying out their duties anyway, and then unfortunately one day being murdered by another Nazi soldier. That is incredibly soldier. downplaying the negative statements that Pat Tillman made towards he the made, U.S. He made negative statements like in private fucking emails to his dad and shit. Like, oh, I don't you, care. You, you, you can mean, make you negative statements all you want. The service military soldier didn't openly call for yes, overthrowing the U.S. government. Yes, the active service U.S. military <laughs> soldier didn't fucking what, do What was shit. he supposed to do? What was he supposed to do? Why aren't you just like two seconds ago? That's like, an insane today, standard. Today, uh, today they, you were he, telling me. Yeah, I, I expect him to take action. I expect fucking American soldiers who are supposedly regretful, who supposedly think that the war they're fighting <laughs> is bullshit, to maybe go and join the other side. You, you yourself invoked the Russian revolution. You invoked the Russian revolution. What happened yeah, in the Russian revolution? Because those soldiers people joining, were imperial soldiers military joining. Military members. They were, they were incredibly if poor. If the left hadn't accepted the imperial they were, military service members, they would have been okay. fucked. Is there, a, is there a comparison between U.S. volunteer imperial soldiers and incredibly poor conscripts in 1917 Russia? Do you think that's a fair comparison to make? 
Yeah, there is a little bit, actually. But How? For some okay. of the military... Name, can you please name a single American soldier who has ever defected in the last 50 years or so? I, I, can, I can tell you right now. Free during the, Vietnam. Um, oh, free yeah. The, uh, the guy that, killed, the guy that killed JFK defected to the USSR. And then he came back here no, and he killed didn't. JFK. Yes, he <laughs> what did. the fuck he, are you he talking about? When, when was he ever in the middle of an active thing. conflict where he defected the other side? That's not true. Because that's what happened in the Russian Revolution. Yeah, Soldiers to defected in he, he, he joined and the USSR. There is, no, there is no volunteer volunteer military, volunteer imperialist <laughs> military that has ever had anything resembling a mutiny on any sort of real scale. Especially not a revolutionary mutiny. And I can tell oh, you right now, because I've consuming. looked into this. I've looked into this. There were free veterans during the Vietnam War who defected, actually defected, who joined the other side. And that was a real revolutionary war, too. Free. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. We, we, we joined the Vietnam War on the side. They had side. the chance. They, they could, yeah, but like they could have gone and joined the other side, but they didn't. So why sure. would I believe that American soldiers are, are going to do what happened in the Russian Revolution when there's no empirical evidence to believe that? I, I, no, I don't, I don't think they will, but that's not what you said, is it? It's what I said, though. It is. You said that no one had defected. You hadn't seen anyone defected. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess I was confused what you were saying then. I'm saying that bringing but up yeah, like the I... Russian Revolution, the Cuban Revolution, these are fundamentally different circumstances. Those are conscript armies who themselves were like, like you know, they were, they were not just coerced into the army via conscription, but they were pretty much forced into doing so under the threat of pretty much death, I, both in the I would case say, and in the Russian case. I would say at least, at least 10 to 15% of the U.S. military joined to either escape starvation or no, to support their families. There's, literally, there's no circumstance at all there's where no you're going to starve or join the military. That doesn't exist. No, absolutely not at all. You can, you can, you can get any fucking job. We've, there's pretty, there's get, pretty get, get a fucking job in McDonald's. In the US. Get a fucking job at McDonald's. Like, like if your choice is between to like, you know, you be, know, be homeless McDonald's or something and join really the military. McDonald's doesn't really cover the costs of healthcare in the US, and? unfortunately. So fucking what, dude? Well, that's, like, I mean, the military, you, you, unfortunately, you should join and go and murder people because you want healthcare? Is that is that how it works? So if I'm poor and uh, I want yeah, healthcare, I mean, if I'm poor and people, I want healthcare, would you accept me murdering you and stealing stealing all your shit? People generally commit crimes out of desperation. I would say, yeah. Yeah, but explaining like, an explanation, moral, you're not an explanation, involved, an explanation but, is not the same. Exactly, Ex an explanation doesn't mean there's no individual responsibility. Your your idea of individual responsibility seems to be. No, it's not. Like, you just said yourself, it doesn't mean you're absolved, but it is an explanation. So we know, for example, sure. that in order to fight crime, you reduce poverty, obviously. But it doesn't mean that, like, someone comes and, like, shoots, you know, your, your son in the head or something to steal their phone or whatever, that that person should just be, like, let out and forgiven with a slap <sighs> on the wrist. Obviously, no one thinks that. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Um, the... The main, again, I mean, it's the main contention I have is the the standard I, that you've set for what it means to be absolved just seems com like. I don't think, it I don't think it's at all ridiculous. It basically How makes it, 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 it basic, because it basically makes it impossible How? for anyone that served in the military so to I have ever never, be a part, a part of the left. I have never from, served from in the military, right? If I wanted, I could buy a ticket to Iraq right now and probably go and like help out with some dumb fucking project or some shit. If I could do that, they can do it. That's not an impossible and standard at all. Fucking like 14 year olds do volunteerism trips doing that exact same thing. How the fuck can a US military veteran not do it? Uh-huh. Even if they have like a family here and you know they can't take a trip. A job they a family, they have a job they can't take a trip. Off. It's it's if so fucking miss, weird. You're just so it, desperate. It's weird. Like you're so desperate to come up with an excuse for these criminals specifically come, for why they shouldn't Americans face any justice ever. Paycheck to paycheck. They, yeah, let's just take a two week trip to Afghanistan. Like that's that's crazy. You the average American veteran comes from a household that makes seventy seven thousand dollars median income. And what about what about you know a below average American veteran? We or, already went over this earlier. That's what, but that's what I'm saying. But that's, but that's my. Story. I already responded to it. You just seem but, to be like desperately trying to find some sort of exception as a gotcha. Like uh, even, for one even the exception, American it's gonna, veterans it's gonna change could, everything. Even if they can't afford it, I still think that's that is uh, a ridiculously high standard. 
So basically, your stand is they shouldn't face any justice at all then. They shouldn't have to do anything. They should just be allowed to, like, you know, enjoy the, reap the benefits of having been a veteran, of being a veteran, and, like, just not have to do anything about it ever. I, think, just they, I, think, I think being a part of the left and just working towards you understand how ridiculous sort of this seems to anyone outside of the usa right no it, it doesn't this. it does it absolutely fucking does like you have this idea where <laughs> the, like the americans have a divine the US americans have like the this US. divine right Most to join the military and kill kill people kill us kill people like elsewhere in the world for their own fucking benefit that seems insane to other people like for for americans it's like they balance that choice with, with working at fucking mcdonald's it's absolutely fucking crazy and yeah people see that as insane and to you guys it seems norm not just normal but that afterwards like everyone else those of us who aren't americans are just supposed to like accept those people as like our, our friends and our buddies that is insane. That is absolutely fucking crazy. How do you not see that? I, I think if they're genuinely working towards any kind of like leftist workers, I think you it's know, fucking helping crazy. their local union or anything like that. How does that? Then, how does that do anything? They're bettering the standards for themselves in the imperial core. It's essentially bettering the standards of the labor aristocracy. They help their union. Unions in the USA are class collaborationist institutions. That's what they're for. Oh man! They're for bettering well, the they're for bettering the circumstances <laughs> of the workers of that particular big union. There again, I yeah. guess. That's are you probably saying? Are you saying that it. the USA does not have a class collaborationist union system set up by FDR? Is it the case? Uh, I think so. I, I think that is an issue with uh, some unions, but it's um, all unions. not all of them. There, there, really? are, so, there are no so illegalist what? unions in the US. There are no unions that do anything resembling, for example, wildcat really? strikes. There are no unions, especially that do anything resembling international solidarity. If they were, if it was, if they were so collaborating, why did why did Biden shut down the rail worker strike? Because the class collaborationist union and was asking for a little bit too them. much, and he didn't shut down the strike. He didn't give them. He, he made it illegal he, to continue striking. Exactly. Does that make that mean they can't strike? They could have still striked, but they didn't. Do you know why? Because the unions are a part of a system called corporatism. And corporatist unions, they are essentially class collaborationist unions that are always, in the end, going to abide by what the bourgeois is willing to give up. And in that case, the bourgeoisie were not willing to, you know, allow them to carry out this strike because it would have been too devastating for them. And the union, upon being told that, that they want, that why they weren't being allowed to do so by the bourgeoisie, they decided not to do it. That is a, the prime example, actually, of the, the problems with class collaborationist unions, of how, at the end of the day, what they really do is just sort of better the conditions of their own members, just like, you know, as much as they can get away with, within the, the narrow confines of the limits that are set up by the bourgeoisie. Well, let's so not get too distracted joining, with the yeah, talking but about what unions. I, that's all part um, of the explanation here. You join a union like that, it's to better your own circumstances primarily. That's, that's the whole point of it. And obvi obviously there's nothing particularly wrong with that, but to like hold that up as like something that absolves you of having like committed crimes in Iraq or something is fundamentally insane because what you're doing is essentially furthering <clears throat> your own self-interest. And I guess, how but, does that work? Like my, my opinion is it doesn't absolve them. It's just the best possible outcome. You know? I think there are much like, better possible outcomes than that. Like, getting getting someone who who was in the mindset where they were like, I'm going, I'm pro USA, I'm gonna join the military, let's go imperialism time. And then taking someone like that and having them be like, hold on, actually the military's kind of fucked up now. But there's... I'm going to I I oppose the US military. I'm gonna tell other people not to join. I'm gonna work towards building worker solidarity in the US. There's That's no a contradiction. Positive. For one, there's no contradiction between being that, in the union and supporting uh, sorry, the U.S. Would, military. Would you agree that that's a net, a net positive, even For if who? you don't like... For who? I don't think those US. people have any meaningful just effect in general. anything. No, just... I, I think... Th I think, well, just taking left someone... Left hold on, hold on. Primarily taking use the label to make themselves feel better. Taking somebody that's pro-imperialism and getting them to have anti-imperialist opinions. I think that right... Just where are that these, by these anti-imperialist American veterans? Where are I don't... Because the guy in question, the guy who started this entire argument, he went and joined a fucking fascist militia in Ukraine. You're not talking I about an anti-imperialist US veteran. The, the Popular Front has an, an entry on the anarchist library. Like, I, I think the they Popular are Front is a grassroots media That's probably organization. A big, uh... No, the Popular Front, you're, you're confusing two things. The Popular Front is the, they're the people who posted 
his obituary. Well, he was a member of the Popular Front. He was though. a member of the Popular Front, which is a media organization, a journalist, a journalism organization that covers war. I have the, the page up right now. Popular Front is a media organization that focuses solely on war and conflict. What you're confusing that with is, is his service in the Ukrainian military. Now, if you want to join the Ukrainian military, that's fine by me, okay? But the thing is, if you're a foreigner, you can just join the normal Ukrainian military. You can, as far as you're actually as far allowed as I can to join tell, the this Ukrainian guy was part military. of the he was uh, a member of right legion. sector. He was a member of right sector. Where are you getting that from? By the way, the foreign legion, like you don't actually have to join the foreign legion. You can just join the Sorry, general where, Ukrainian military. Where are you getting the? Well, I mean, the foreign legion makes sense for foreigners still. But where are you getting that he was a right sector? I I didn't see that anywhere. Don't worry, I'll find it. <clears throat> um. I guess I guess a big part of this disagreement then just boils down to that you think him joining the Ukrainian military was I think him joining right further sector evidence. Uh, no, I mean, not I, at all. I would agree. I, I, don't know. I was responding to the fact that they were they were lionizing him for having not just been a US Marine, but also for having gotten four promotions in the US Marines in just four years. <clears throat> uh I, I just uh I I don't think I don't think that th that's them doing anything than just describing his life. It's an obituary. That doesn't seem very weird to me. You know, if, if I did something absolutely horrible and the people who love me wrote an obituary for me that mentioned that specifically, I'd be pretty fucking mad at that. I don't think they would do that. So if Even this guy if thought that, that what he did, you if this guy thought that what he did was horrible, I don't think it would just be mentioned there like it's positive, especially not the thing about the promotions. And I think you, you know that. The reason why these people mention their veteran status is because they think it makes them special in some way. It might be different than the mainstream way of like, thank you for your service, but they tend to think it may it means like it gives them more credibility, it gives them more social credit, especially in American society, and that's why they mention it. And that's why people get so angry on their behalf. That's why, for example, people who say all cops are bastards get incredibly fucking angry when you call out American military members. Because the American military polices people outside of their country, so it's it's a lot easier for them to hate cops when the cops um, attack them and people they love. Yeah, I mean, no, no, there there can definitely be like a bias there, especially. Um, I mean, the U.S. is probably the worst country when it comes to stuff like that. Um, it's pretty much the only country when it comes to stuff like this, as far as I know. No, no, the, I mean, the the U.S. is not the only militaristic country on the earth. The U.S. is is the military enforcer of global capitalism. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're the only country that's nationalist and is like, woo, It's the only troops, country where, you know? <laughs> like, it's the only country where I've ever seen anyone be like, um, how dare you say that the veterans are bad? How, like, like, really? like leftist vets. It's the only country where I've ever had anyone say, hey, how dare you say that that guy who massacred children, massacred children. That's so mean. He's a real leftist. He should be able to put leftists in his bio. Like, not even just putting leftists in a bio. Like, I've already said this like five you times. Keep but, saying... just, but just to reiterate, the issue is not just having been in the military. The issue is not even just having done bad things in your past at all. The issue is those bad things being so important to you that you still identify with the label. That you still identify as a veteran, as a soldier. You bring it up often, constantly. And then that you I, I mean, if do he, nothing. If he did do that, I, I do think that would be pretty weird. If well, that that's what people do, did. though. That's what they do in well, general. I mean, How people, have you not seen this? People do that. That doesn't mean it's. There's like whole good, organizations. That... There's like uh -huh. a whole YouTube channel called like Left Flank Vets, for example. It's all about like well, I veterans mean, I, being I held up as a that. special class who are special leftists, whatever. There's if like leftist veteran I, organizations. I'm not familiar with shit. that channel, but if they're if the intent of that channel is to pull military veterans uh, towards the left, then I support it. You're clearly not remotely on the left at least in an international sense because i know that the U u.s doesn't really have a left and to them leftism is just like advocating for crumbs but you're clearly you clearly don't have anything resembling real international leftist solidarity if i like, mean i support renouncing the label of veteran is too much for you. i support reparations for afghanistan also i i think vet veteran is is a descriptive word but i guess we'll just have to disagree there's a difference that. between a descriptor like like um I, I cook stuff, right? Am I, I'm a home cook. I don't have home cook in my fucking Twitter bio. What you put there, like what you identify yourself with, that's an indicator of how you conceive yourself, of how you conceive of yourself. 
identifying yourself as like a veteran, for example. Clearly, you conceive of yourself in that way. You view it something that's an important part of who you are. And, I mean, if, if and you're also if, signaling it to others because you want them to it, see if that. that was a, Why? If that was an important part of like how he developed his life and how he arrived at like his views, then I, I don't have any problem with him putting that as a label. Um, do you think like bragging about having gone to Iraq and murdering people there means that you're repentant of it all? Because you, you know for that, a fact, I don't think he did that. <clears throat> you don't think he did that. There are plenty yeah. of people who do. If you want to use actual, real and, examples, I, and I also which don't think tons of them leftist leftist veterans are generally. Um, I would say not very supportive of the U.S.'s foreign interventions. Broadly, there's not being supportive of the U.S.'s foreign interventions. There's, there's yeah, that they generally of, don't. Then, right, left, <laughs> leftist veterans there's, generally there's don't brag about. But they nonetheless the commit. They nonetheless committed crimes, didn't they? They hurt people. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> and then they brag about it. I don't. Yeah, you keep saying they brag about it. Yeah, I that's what it is. That's what it is. You identify yourself they as criticize... a veteran. You're bragging about it. Uh, that's it. Okay. You're using I it mean, to get I... social credit from Americans. Honestly, if you if you can weaponize, uh, how are being they weaponizing? Veteran, how? How? In, if, in what way? Because because for, the, for their own you... benefit, for their own personal benefit. That's how they're weaponizing it. Uh huh. Okay. If you can use being a veteran as a way to soften up other Americans' views and uh, make no, them a little how, bit more receptive to That's not how this shit works, ideas, though, because you should, be challenging the is, very idea. you should be challenging the very idea that being a veteran makes you special. By identifying as such, what you're doing is perpetuating it. And by doing that, all you're going to do is perpetuate imperialism. So this is, these are uh, fundamentally contradictory ideas. Obviously, you should be... If you're a veteran, you should be mentioning that to say, hey... Man, hey, I went to Iraq. It was the worst thing I've ever done. So, like, what it's going to haunt me forever. I, 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 I did horrible things. To bring to, up, uh, I did horrible things to so many sure. people, and the are, U.S. Are military familiar, should be disbanded um, and sucks. And I, I don't identify as a veteran for that reason. Well, yeah, I'm yeah, ashamed okay, of yeah, that. Yeah, no, I mean, I basically agree with what you're, what you're saying. Like, are you? I don't think you do. Um, hold on, I do. Uh, are you from? Like, I think that's how you should frame it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Who frames it are like you that? Familiar, like two people? Sorry, are you are you familiar with um? Are you familiar with that clip of the the veteran that came up? I think it was George W. Bush was speaking. Yes, Mike Price. He, he came walked up, up to like, George Biden, W. You know, Bush something, and he talked he about like, our boys. He talked about our boys are dying out there, like American troops are dying out there for you. You lied to us. Blah 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 blah. Yes, I know. I've seen that clip. It's an ex sure. it's a, a great example of exactly what I'm talking about. How it's always framed with the American soldiers as the victims fundamentally from a selfish standpoint and that is not how that should this should be looked at because the victims of the american military are not the american militarists they're not they're not the soldiers they're the people uh, who I have think, been victimized i think i think they're victims as well no they're not absolutely fucking not bullshit they're victims I mean, maybe it, in the sense that so, everyone in the capitalism like, is to some degree a victim but like especially a victim fuck no no i don't think they're especially a victim I, I, but I do think they're still... They're a victim they're in like the victim. same way that anyone who has to work for a wage is a victim. Aside from that, absolutely not. Um, I mean, I do think they're a victim as well, so... How? <laughs> you just said the people that have to work for a wage? Yeah. How, 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 is, how are they any more of a victim than any other wage laborer? And for another thing, they're class traders. They decide to fight on the side of the global bourgeoisie to oppress the global proletariat. Like, it's like calling a cop a victim. I don't think anyone would honestly call a cop a victim ever. To call the soldiers a victim just makes no sense. Why do you think it's mostly the poorest people that join the military and not the poorest people that become That's factually cops? untrue. Median military you, income, as I said, 77,000. And, and you don't think that cops are better off? Yeah, cops, cops gain benefits from being cops. Does that mean that it's okay to be a cop? Obviously not. Most of the military benefits come from uh, like healthcare and stuff, anyway. Like, okay. That's, no, I'm saying that, so like, that's. Can can I kill people if I if it'll get me healthcare? Like, uh, <clears throat> I don't understand. Uh, like, what what is the argument here? If I'm poor, am I allowed to kill people for self benefit to get out of being poor? Is that how it works? I just. No, I just think the social conditions that lead people to joining the military are different than, uh, like, cops. I don't think that's, I don't think that's true at all. They're both equally class traded. You can join, you can join the cops if you're, if you're poor. They'd fucking love to have you.
especially now when the when the um, general societal view of cops is um, down the shitter. And why do you think it is that, like Phys physical standards, most especially for being uh, for joining the military, are a lot higher than joining the police? Yeah. And why do you why do you think it is that like most leftist movements heavily have veterans as a part of them? Which not just in the U.S., just broadly speaking. Okay. M Name an example. Um, the Cuban Revolution. The Cuban the Revolution, Revolution. The Cuban Revolution. Volunteer military. Essentially, peasants forced into conscription at the barrel of a gun. Same with Russia. This is not the same thing. And also, Cuba is Cuba was obviously well, the main issue you not have a genocide is that the of global US is the volunteer power. military. The main issue that I have is obviously. It's, it's, well, you're giving an, an exception to here. those people. I'm giving you an so. explanation for why this is not even remotely the same thing. Is we're talking about literal revolutions where the soldiers basically immediately defected. Yeah, to but the before. Side of the working class. Yeah, but before those soldiers defected, that, you they already were just said part it's not going to happen in the right? U.S. But they but were not. They, part, they were not just be, volunteers. They, they were not volunteers for the global hegemonic genocidal power. They were forced into it, essentially under the threat of death. By literally the Russian monarchy and fucking Batista in Cuba, it's not the same thing. American soldiers, American soldiers, at best you can say, decided to join the military because it was a good job job option for them. That's not the same thing as being forced, like under the threat of death, to join the Cuban military and then laying down your weapons as soon as Fidel Castro shows up and joining him. Yeah, but the I don't, analogy I don't think... there, the analogy there would be what I mentioned earlier with the Vietnam War. Uh -huh. Where most of the most of the U.S. military, contrary to popular belief, they were actually volunteers. But what if you volunteer and then the second, you know, the second like um, there's an opportunity, you lay down your arms and you go join the other side? No one did that. So and why did they not do that? Because this is fundamentally different situations. For one, uh, we're, we're not so... talking about something that's internal, and for two, we're talking about a volunteer military that is the enforcer of global capitalist hegemony. With soldiers and supporters who consciously or not benefit from their hegemony, so it's a fundamentally different situation. They're non they're not comparable at all, not on levels of responsibility and not not on in practical sense because obviously nothing like it is going to happen in the U.S. Sure. Well, okay. So I, I have two things. So I'm, you mentioned, you know, again, and I I, I already said this that there's not going to be any revolution in the U.S. Right? Obviously. Um, and yeah, obviously not. And I so I don't think the stand. I just think. Being a part of the left after being radicalized towards the left after being part of the military, even if you can't, if there's not going to be a revolution, you just do what you can, right? You know, whatever. No one's saying it's a bad thing <laughs> sure. to have. No one's saying that, like, if you were in the military, you're irredeemable. No one's saying that. What we are saying okay. is that identifying yourself with having been in the military, using it to get social credit in American society or among leftist movements, or what some people have, have been doing is like responding to me saying, um, these military guys, they have military experience, so we actually need them. Uh, that's, I don't, those, the, that's a stupid opinion. Yeah. Um, and but, obviously, um, you should try, uh, hold on. since uh, you're never those... going to face justice, you should maybe at least try to do something for the people who you've harmed. I don't think that's an unreasonable standard to hold for anyone. And I, I especially don't think that when you I see someone you, like shitting okay. on veterans, you should get angry I at I agree it. that you should do that, but I don't think you not doing that precludes you from the, being able, the title of leftist or whatever, which you seem to well, take issue with leftism, them calling that guy leftism a leftist. Leftism is specifically communism, anarchism, maybe. Yeah. That is specifically international. And you cannot claim you cannot claim to feel any sort of think, real solidarity with the international proletariat over the American proletariat if you have such an attachment to this sort of veteran identity. I think this. you can just you can just be a flawed person, and that's that's fine. So you're saying that would make you a flawed person, then? I, yeah, I, I, a, I, I think mean, it would. Well, personally, if I was in if you, Iraqi, if, you didn't, I mean, if I was in Iraqi, I, I, I would think I would think that yeah. it's pretty fucking messed up. That people who are like, who like came to my country and killed my family, were like held up as like paragons of virtue among the U.S. left, which they factually I mean, are. That, the U.S. left loves loves up. to put I, leftists I on think... a pedestal. They do it uh -huh. constantly. I don't. You're not. You're you're preaching to the choir right now when it comes. I'm, I don't I'm think saying I am. that leftist veterans, 
don't believe that. And I don't know why you're acting like the broad, hegemonic U.S. patriotic who of you. What, what I want to know is why, is can't, by why left. can't leftist veterans just be leftists? Why do they have to be leftist veterans? Why can't they just be leftists who did something bad in their past that, you know, maybe they don't talk about a lot particularly? Why can't they just be normal people who are leftists? Why do they have to be leftist veterans specifically? That's the point of contention here. I don't think there's anything wrong with acknowledging stuff you've done in the past. I mean, so, if, as long as it's framed negatively, okay, then like, so who cares? You if know? someone ha had like, a Twitter bio saying, former rapist, would you think that was weird? Um, under dependent on as a Twitter bio, that would be Former rapist, current they... anti-rape advocate. Come on, man. That'd clearly be doing that to like... Get some they, sort of, get, because they were a sick motherfucker, you know, if, or they wanted they, to get some sort of social both credit of those out of things, it. Things I would be fine with it. If oh they had no, fuck, that's so fucking weird. That. That's so that's fucking bizarre, dude. Like, come on. Like, if if you're ashamed of these things, you don't really mention them. Like, you you brought up ex-con as an, an example, but ex-con can mean sure. anything. It just means someone who wasn't. I meant I, like I, like ex, let's say ex-murderer, right? Sure. We'll I've never that. seen anyone identify as an ex-murderer. I have seen people who are murderers who you know are open about what they did, but they don't like they don't like you know they not to the extent that they would like put it in their fucking Twitter bio, you know. If so, if someone if someone did and it was like if they're like some kind of public figure or something like that like yeah I mean sure whatever right that's just I I don't think you believe that I don't think anyone believes that if they were if they if they put that in there and they were like actively like like let's say they you know they were part of a program to help other uh, murderers so like and a, whatever an admitted an admitted murderer so, like let's, someone let's say, on you know. And a middle, yeah, like and a middle murderer like, who is now a part of a program murderer. to help other I went murderers. through prison. Yeah, they, they're, they're a part of a program Does it really make to help sense, other though, people because in prison. Wouldn't the people who they should help be their victims? And for two, we're, we're assuming this person has also faced justice. American veterans have never and will never face justice. So the only way they could ever face justice is if they held themselves to account. So it's, it's not really the same situation either. I mean, I again, I just think that they would just be flawed, and that's fine. I don't think that precludes. I mean, them I think participating flawed. in the everyone, life. everyone is flawed, right? That's that's an incredibly expansive label right there. But there's a difference between like being flawed, having shit that you've done in your past that you regret, and holding up that shit that you've done in your past like it's special and that people should give you some sort of credit for it or that it, it means that people should defer I mean, to you I, I agree that that would be weird I, it's, I not, don't it's think... not that it would be weird this does happen a lot that's what the whole thing is yeah, like, I just don't think people, people get fucking are like you saw the post that I made someone who's in their obituary was being announced as like a US marine who rose to the rank of sergeant you saw that and you got angry at me for it you see all the other people getting angry at me for it too who claim to be leftists how is it possible to get angry with that if these people don't think it's bad to like deny the the like exceptionality because you're, a better word of veterans because you are you seem to be attacking the idea that he was a I attack the idea and Marine that he was a lifelong I yes I attack the idea that he was a lifelong leftist organizer having been a former marine for one because that is a contradiction lifelong a leftist organizer would not be in the marines not not possible. They wouldn't have joined it. So clearly, for probably most of most of their life, they were not actually a leftist. Mean most of his life, we we know he was in for two years. So he was in for two years. He was how old? Twenty six. Yeah, so it's like let's for, just. I don't know when he joined. Let's assume he, he joined at eighteen. Let's say at eighteen. He so for twenty years of his life, he was very clearly not a leftist organizer. For six years, well, he was you a leftist know, organizer. most fifteen-year-olds are not leftist organizers. Okay, so but they say I'm gonna lifelong. Cut him up past on lifelong that one. for two. When if, people if say he lifelong, was, do you two, think they meant when he was five years old? Like they said, lifelong. lifelong. I don't think a six years is a life is lifelong. But the point is, for two, and this is the main point in his obituary. In his yeah. obituary, he, the fact that he was a marine is very prominently mentioned, and attention is brought to the fact that he was also like very a very good marine who got lots of promotions in the mass murder institute. This is clearly not being mentioned mentioned in a negative sense. That is the point. That is what I was responding to. And that is what set you and everyone else off. So clearly, just from the evidence of like the negative reception among Americans who claim to be leftists, but who, lots of whom very much are not, 
he was like like they they clearly believe that um this veteran label is something special and they are clearly very angry at me making a very non-confrontational post really saying that it's not because my the post that i said was was this Former Marine and lifelong leftist organizer. It's, ins it's insane how Americans can say shit like this without batting an eyelid. They apparently see no contradiction between signing up to mass murder poor people for imperialism and left organizing. What about that do you disagree with? Uh, the main part of that that I disagree with is that I, I don't think that there's a contradiction. I, I think you can how? sign up because I, I think that you can become a leftist then you do your think there, there is the a military. contradiction, though, because we're talking about someone who is being claimed to be a lifelong military member, but clearly he wasn't a lifelong military member. If you join the military, at, you know, lifelong you, clearly leftist, you were not a leftist not a before lifelong that. Military member, if but... you were a leftist, you wouldn't have joined the military. <clears throat> and for two, I, I am refuting your assertion of this idea that he was actually... Um, he was actually ashamed of his military service with the fact that his obituary brags about his military service and how good he was about being in the Marines. He rose to the rank of sergeant in the Marines in two years. So I think that this does serve as an example of supposedly leftist veterans being lionized and having their military murder held up on a pedestal. And clearly, from the people responding to this who are getting very angry at me, making a very very milk toast sort of objection as someone who is not an American and all the people except all the people are angry at this are Americans of course like it's clearly indicative of the fact that these people do see being vet being a veteran as something positive many of them have had actually had a positive response to it like a po like a, po a positive response not to me but being like actually veterans are good veterans are awesome veterans are way better than you like I've never look, look I'm sorry but I've never um, I mean, gone to Iraq weird. I've never that. gone to Iraq to murder Iraqis, okay? So, I could literally do nothing. I could sit at home and masturbate to anime all day, and I would do less harm in most of my life than any soldier who was deployed to Iraq or Afghanistan. That's, it doesn't matter how much shit they do afterwards. That's just simple, because the amount of harm they've done there is immeasurable. And, but yeah, Americans, I, I see, think, Americans see me say that, and they get, I like, so fucking angry at it. Like, there's, like, this visceral impulse where they think, need to be... Don't you think that there's a reason... That they said former Marine and lifelong leftist? Like, clearly, yeah, because you're not in the, the people who forever. wrote his obit. Okay. Pe mo people, I've, listen, I've met people who are in the Marines, okay? The people who are, you will know the people who are proud of being in the Marines. They do not say, if, if someone they do was not, not call proud, themselves former if someone, Marines. If someone was not proud right? of being in the Marines, if someone was not proud of being in the U.S. military in general, why would they mention it? Called him. A lifelong. If I leftist, was not proud that's of something, obviously it would not be my part of his life. That's the life. His being a leftist was obviously a more important part of his life, at least to the people who knew Here's him. Here's the thing: he wasn't than a leftist. Being in the Barbary, he wasn't a leftist. Okay. He had no international solidarity whatsoever. To him, killing foreigners was just a normal part of his like career. To the point that it was put into his that biography, like, like a, in a chronology. That's that the seems point like a this. pretty big assumption. It's not an assumption at all. That's how it is for Americans. Americans justify this shit constantly. He, I was poor. I joined the military. you're talking about Americans, and I'm talking about leftists. I'm not talking all, about most American Americans leftists. aren't leftists. I'm talking about American leftists. I agree. There's you think American no leftists, leftists in America. idolize the military? Well, I think American liberals who call themselves leftists do. Oh, well, okay. I mean, that's, well, now that's like that's a what, totally, That's what yeah, you are, okay. and that's what all these people are. They're, uh -huh. they're not leftists. They're, they have no international solidarity. What they want is better con living conditions for Americans. They want to maintain U.S. imperialism. They have no fundamental systemic critique of U.S. imperialism, no fundamental systemic critique of things like labor aristocracy. They understand their position in the global value chain. They want to maintain it. And that's why they get angry when I call out American veterans. Still, just seems like you're just talking about liberals. It seem, I'm talking about 99.9% .9 of people in the, in the USA who call themselves leftists. Well, I have to go soon, but uh, okay. I, I do have one question um, that I'm kind of interested in uh, from you, if that's all right. Okay. Um, I'd just like to know, what is your, um, what, what role would you like to see uh, 
veterans in the U.S. specifically play in terms of like leftist organizing? But I think they should just be normal the people. They should be normal people, like anyone else. But should they why, be normal why, people? Why should, should them be being the a vet? Why should them? You mean you said in leftist organizing? If you're like, yeah, like what, if you're what role leftist, should they play on the left? If you're a leftist, why can't you just be a leftist veteran? Why can't you just be a normal person? Why can't you just be like anyone else in the organization? Why do you have to be specifically a leftist veteran? That's the point here. That's the point that all of us are making. Why do Americans specifically feel the need to throw the fact that they did murder for the empire in everyone's face constantly all the time, even when they claim to be on the left? It is the smallest, littlest little courtesy. If you want to show solidarity with people, that, you know, that everyone else in the world, especially the people who have been victimized by American imperialism, if you want to show solidarity with those people, I think the smallest little thing that you can do is actually really hold what you did in shame and not mention it, like not identify with it. Just consider yourself a normal everyday person who might have done something that, they, that was bad in the past like everyone else, rather than being like a leftist veteran who needs to have a special role specifically for you as a leftist veteran. Is that an acceptable answer? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> well, um, thanks for having me on. Okay, um, no problem. Yeah, uh, I guess, uh, well, don't agree about most things, but um, <sighs> it is what it is, I guess. Okay, no problem. Thanks for coming on. The key point is very simple. Americans insist on having been a murderous imperial soldier being a special category. Whether they are claimed to be on the left, whether they are on the right, whether, they, whether it's for a different reason, they insist on making this a special thing that makes you a special little boy or a special little girl or a special little them. They cannot get over it. And as long as you do that, you're perpetuating for one, the idea that the U.S. military is, that being in the U.S. military makes you special. How can you claim to have any international solidarity? These people, let's be real, these people don't have international solidarity. The people who we're talking about here are like, uh, they support American imperialism. They don't understand a single thing about imperialism. They're just liberals. But they like to frame themselves as leftists and they get incredibly angry when you don't, when you don't think that being a murderous killer for empire makes you special. If you see me say American veterans are, are murderers and you get offended at that, it's because you fundamentally believe that's not true. It's because you fundamentally believe the opposite of that. Otherwise, you wouldn't get angry. It's the same thing as like getting angry when someone says, would say to you, for example, like, Australia is a settler colonial state. If someone said that to me and I got pissed off, I was like, no, how dare you say that? It's fucking obvious what I actually think, right? That's what Americans do when you shit on veterans. That's what Americans do when you make even like the, the lightest milk toast inkling that perhaps they should show a, show a slight bit of solidarity with their imperial victims by not inviting unrepentant mass killers into their spaces, by at least not having these people identify so strongly with their murder. I, I, that's not a strong standard at all. It's not an impossible standard. It's not even a, a standard. It's incredibly fucking basic. It's absurd that they frame that as unreasonable, not only unreasonable, but as like an offensive to them. It just goes to show you how, in general, the American left practically doesn't exist. The American left is a bunch of imperialist liberals who believe in American exceptionalist imperialism. The best world that they can imagine is one where the U.S. does good imperialism, good, good imperialism instead of bad imperialism, like people like Dylan Burns. Those are, those are the people who represent this left. So obviously, for someone like that, someone who believes that like the U.S. military is going to save the world one day because it's going to magically turn leftist, shitting on veterans is bad because we're going to need, we're going to need them to do righteous things around the world one day, aren't we? But fundamentally, like, there is no American left because to be even remotely on the left, it's not about wanting healthcare for yourself. It's not about wanting better, better standard working conditions for yourself. It's not about wanting better jobs for yourself and people around you. It's about international solidarity on the basis of class and when you cannot even give your imper the imperial victims of your country the most basic level of solidarity so as not to hold up the people who victimize them on a pedestal as if they're special, you quite clearly do not con actually consider yourself to be on the same class, have the same interests as those people to be of the same class as them. You consider yourself above them because for you, killing them, going to their country, invading it, destroying it, bombing their infrastructure, killing their families, for you, that is like a, a job decision that you think it's okay to just weigh alongside being a cashier in Walmart and, and pick over being the cashier because it gives you better benefits. If Americans have the same class interests as their imperial victims, 
It's up to them to show that. I have never seen them show that. Other than small fringe groups, I have not seen Americans, even remotely, oppose their own interests in the name of furthering the interests of the world's most oppressed peoples, who were the victims of American imperialism. And when you point that out, instead of trying to rectify it, instead of thinking about why that is, American supposed leftists, they get mad. They, sc they yell and scream. They, they kick in rage because they don't want introspection. And that fundamentally proves my point here. They are not a part of the same interest group as the proletariat of the third world. Because when, when you actually talk about why they don't demonstrate in any, re in any real way them actually being a part of the same group as those people, their response isn't like introspection. It's not to think about it. It's not to really wonder about that. Like to say, oh yeah, you have a point. It's to get so fucking angry. It's to like quote tweet you and yell at you about how, oh, you, how, how dare you say that, you tanky? Well, what, have you, what have you done for the working class? As if, like, getting, like, a uh, $1 pay rise for American workers is at all furthering global class struggle rather than just giving more scraps to the um, people in the imperial corps so that they don't do fucking anything about their imperialism. All I want to see from Americans is basic solidarity. I want them to be truly international, to not be so narrowly focused on themselves and their own wants and needs. But... They cannot do that to the point that most of them throw a fucking, like, tantrum if you just tell them that murdering Iraqis is not a valid job choice. That if your choice is between murdering Iraqis and flipping burgers, you'd flip the fucking burgers. To them, that is sacrilege. To them, that is an unreasonable standard that no one should be held to. Their perception of reality is so warped from the super profits of imperialism that they've been handed that they believe that choice is a normal everyday thing. Say that to every, anyone else anywhere in the world. They, they certainly will not fucking agree with you there. Yeah, I mean, exactly. They're not neutral to veterans. That's all I want is neutrality. Treat them like normal people. Ha give them some basic fucking requirements of restitution like you would to any other murderer or criminal, which is what they are. Leftist Americans don't want that. They actually want veterans to be held up on a pedestal. They like that. They still like it. And that fundamentally really just shows you that, you know, that, that they don't have no international sol solidarity whatsoever. They just reproduce the exact same thing that, like, right-wing American patriots do. Who are American, American veterans? Thank you for your service. Thank you for defending our freedom. And then there's like the leftists who, the leftists who like hold veterans on a pedestal. And it's like, oh my god, it's, it's so sad what happened to you. It's so sad that you're a veteran, but I'm so glad that you gained combat experience from mass murdering those Iraqi families so that when the revolution comes, which is definitely going to come, we can use your combat experience. You should never have to show any repentance or, or, or face any justice for what you've done. I love you so much. Let me lick your boots quick, really quick, sir. You're such a victim. You're such a victim. You're such a victim, sir. Oh my god. What? You kill people? The real victims are, are, are the Iraqis, not, not you? No, no, that's not true. You're the victim. You're the victim. The problem with, with our wars is that they cost us too much and they kill our, our, our boys. Who cares about the actual real victims? And I, I don't care if Americans are mad at me. Americans don't really understand something. It's that you aren't the world. You're not the fucking world, guys. Americans are always like, well, well if you exclude veterans, who, who else are you going to appeal to? What is it, like 8 billion people now who never joined up with an imperialist military to do mass murder? I, I think we're fine with them. I don't think we need to include Im imperial mass murderers specifically. You know, if, if an ex-imperial mass murderer who is repentant about what they did wants to like join a movement or whatever as like an, just another guy, that's fine. But that's not what's being asked here. It's, they want us to treat them as, in a special way. They, they, want, they want like leftist veterans to identify as such. They want them to put leftist veteran in their bio and be like, I'm such a victim. I'm, I'm the real victim of what happened. You know, they, they, they fundamentally want to use their status for clout. And these people identifying as, as leftists is really most of the time just a way to make themselves feel better about what they've done without actually having to account for it in any way, shape or form, without even admitting that what they did was bad. Because that's another thing. I've never even seen a single American veteran who, th who actually admits personal responsibility for what they've done. Like, they'll say that, like, the wars are bad and, and all that stuff, but they won't say that they personally did anything bad as well. So they, they don't even meet, like, the first step of, of, like, actually being repentant or, like, having faced anything resembling justice or done any sort of restitution for what they've done. So, you know, like, Americans genuinely just consider themselves the center of the world. They cannot imagine, they absolutely cannot imagine a perspective of someone who is not fundamentally compromised with the American empire as they are. It just boggles their mind. They cannot fucking understand it one bit.